today's video, I'm going to be going over a very important tip in estimating the absolute uncertainty. And we can use this tip anytime we cannot apply our normal formulas. We can also use it to save some time in an exam situation. Now, what do I mean? What do I mean by this? Imagine that you have some speed that's been given maybe in a table, and you're given the speed is let's say two plus or minus 0.1 meters per second. How could we estimate quickly what the uncertainty is, what the absolute uncertainty is in, let's say, v squared or v cubed or any other power? Now, the trick is to use the rule that, he, that the absolute uncertainty is half of the range. Now, what is the range? Because the speed is 2.0, plus or minus 0.1 meters per second, the smallest value that we know that V could be is 1.9. The largest value that V could be is 2.1. Well, if V is sandwiched somewhere between those two values, and we're uncertain where exactly it is, we could find the range of v squared as well. So the range of v squared will be somewhere between 1.9 squared and 2.1 squared. So let's just put these in a calculator. And we can see that v squared will range between 1.9 squared, which is 3.6 and let's just calculate 2.1 squared as well, which is 4.41. Now, because the absolute uncertainty is half of the range, the range for this uncertainty will just be 4.41 take away, let's call it 4.4, just to be consistent with the amount of decimal places, take away 3.4. And we also need to divide it by 2 because the absolute uncertainty is half of the range. So this is equal to 0 0.8 divided by 2, which is equal to 0 0.4. So we can say that the absolute uncertainty in V squared is plus or minus 0 0.4. Four. So if I was to have a table, I would write this as, well, we know that V is 2.0 plus or minus 0.1 meters per second. And V squared on average will be about 4.0 plus or minus 0.4 meters per second. So meter squared S to a power of minus 2. Now let's apply this to a problem in which it will be difficult to use our typical percentage uncertainty formulas. So we have two 200 plus or minus 10 ohm resistors and they're added in parallel. Find the absolute uncertainty in the total resistance. So in a way we just have a couple of uh, resistors which are just added in parallel like that and uh, they're part of a parallel circuit. The value of each resistor is 200 plus or minus 10 ohms, like so. Now my plan of action is to find the range in the total resistance. Then I'm just going to use the fact that the absolute uncertainty is just half of the range. Now, what will the range be? The formula for the total resistance, let's just write it down over here. It's actually 1 over R total is 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2 because of uh, the properties of uh, inverse functions. R total is 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2 raised to the power of minus one. Now, um, let's look at the two extremes. So the smallest each individual resistance that, that, that is possible is 
190 ohms because that's just 200 minus 10. So the um, the well, one of the extremes will just be equal to so let's say our total will be equal to 1 over 190 plus 1 over 190 raised to the power of minus 1 and um, if we plug that into a calculator this will be equal to 95 ohms and this is actually the minimum value of um, of our total resistance now let's have a look at the other extreme when uh, our total is going to equal 1 over now it'll be 200 plus 10 which it will be the the uh, largest individual resistance that is possible so 1 over uh, 210 plus 1 over 210 raised to the power of minus 1 which is equal to 105 ohms the range between those two values here is equal to 10 ohms and remember your absolute uncertainty my absolute uncertainty is equal to half of the range so it's really important half of the range so our range in this case is 105 take away 95 largest take away smallest values so our range is just 10 ohms divide that by 2 which is equal to 5 ohms therefore the absolute uncertainty in the total resistance is just 5 ohms and we can essentially write this down as our absolute uncertainty so just to recap what we've looked at is the individual resistance which is 200 plus or minus 10 ohms which means that at the very least this has to be 190 which is 200 take away 10 ohms and at the very most this could be 210 which is 200 plus 10 ohms this gives us two cases one is the minimum let's, let's give it a little minimum label over here of 1 over 190 plus 1 over 9 190 and then one over that and then a maximum value over here which is 1 over 2010 plus 1 over 2010 and then one over that value and then we've used the fact that the absolute uncertainty is equal to half of the range using this very very powerful technique what we can do is we can estimate the um, uncertainty in many different cases I mean we could be given some data for instance and we could estimate it directly from the data for instance if we let's say we had 101 ohms 100 ohms uh, let's say um, let's uh, keep it a little bit smaller so let's say 100 5 ohms and uh, the range in this data will be equal to the largest take away the, the, the smallest so in this case the uh, range is 5 ohms so half of that so the absolute uncertainty in this will be equal to the average value which is just 101 plus 100 plus 105 five and then divided by three which is um, equal to 102 ohms so we could just represent this by 102 ohms plus or minus half of the range half the range which is our absolute uncertainty which is 102 plus or minus 2.5 5 ohms. We could also estimate it in other functions. I mean, something like, um, let's say, sine of omega t, for instance. Um, we don't have an explicit formula for calculating the percentage certainty of sine functions, but we could just find the maximum value this function could be, and then the minimum value that this function could be, half this, and find the percentage, the absolute uncertainty.